All right, I'm here in Lyme Regis at the Boat Building Academy with Team Alan Sailor, Drew Wright. Um, Drew's been down here learning his boat building trade. Um, the lovely boat you can see behind us, he's been building. Drew, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so it's a 15 foot cabin cruiser and it's going to have a gaff rig. It's actually made out of plywood and uh, it was designed by a man called Sam Devlin, who's an American. And uh, you've actually you know, been building this yourself and um, with a few of the other classmates here? Yeah, so it started off as we just drew it all out and uh, worked from the plans and yeah, between usually three of us working on it any one time, it's, uh, it's come together. That's pretty cool. Um, how, how long has it taken you to get to, uh, to get to this stage? So we actually started building after Christmas and then we were away for three months because of Corona and now we were, we've been back about a month I think and we've got four weeks to finish. <laughs> So I bet the um, yeah the lockdown sort of hindered your your uh, boat building schedule a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, we sort of had to press pause and then play again when we came back and we're allowed to. And then we've come back with all the masks and screens and everything you can see. It's all uh, all going well. <laughs> cool. And um, so just tell us a little bit um, sort of about the uh, you know the steps involved in in the building. What was you know the first sort of thing you have to do when you're you're building your own boat? Uh, so, for this boat, it's different for every single boat, but for this one, the first step was to cut out all the shapes of the sheets of plywood. Then we used a wire to wire them all together, and then it was epoxy filleted and sheathed. That's the kind of basis of the whole construction. And then after that, it's using basically epoxies with different types of fillers in to create a beautifully fair surface to then paint, and then you build up. <laughs> cool, I mean, it looks absolutely stunning. And you did the paint job yourself as well? Yeah, so it was about three weeks of putting fairing compound on and then sanding it off, and then putting fairing compound and sanding it off. And then uh, this was just done with a roller and a brush, yeah. Cool, I mean, it looks great. Um, so Drew, you've, you've, you know, you've started off with Team Allen when you were sailing your 420. Um, what, what led you into you know, going down the route of uh, building boats? Uh, it was actually using the Allen stuff and kitting out the 420 and fixing all the ropes and kind of being on top of the maintenance that found that I really enjoyed it. So a uh, kind of practical career in boat building was seemed to seem to the right way to go. Cool, that's, that's, that's really cool to know that, you know, you, you've gained that interest from maintaining your 420 and you want to go down this route. So, you know, what's going on with your sailing at the moment? Are you still doing any 420 stuff or have you got anything else in the pipeline? Uh, hopefully moving on to do some match racing stuff. I think uh, me and Reese are gonna do a series with maybe Jamie. One of the other 420 guys, and uh, in between, we're doing some wasp sailing, and uh, but I'm mostly busy here doing the, this boat at the moment. So w once you've got it finished, um, you know, and I can see you've got a few of our fittings ready to go on. Um, what's the plan for it? Where are you going to take it? Uh, first big test is uh, the launch day, which we're going to have on the first of October. But then after that, there's one of the guys who's been it with me, and he's from Switzerland. So we're gonna we're gonna sail him over the channel. To France and then he's going to cycle home. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to be a big test for it. You know, hopefully uh, you've built it pretty well. Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with that. And um, so, you know, talks for few the fittings. Um, I can't, you, you haven't actually put anything on yet, but um, you know, you've got a few bits lined up. Um, you got a anything specific that uh, you're looking forward to, to putting on the boat? Uh, it'd be really cool to use the uh, the keel boat deflectors for the sheets. Never used those before, and it's uh, it's quite a nice machined part where there's no actual screw head showing on the upper side, so they will kind of fit flush with the deck. That'd be really nice. Cool. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing those on. It's going to make it look really nice, sort of a bit of modern and old school put together. So that's going to look good. All right, Drew. Well, um, thanks for having a chat with us, and it's good to see the boat's coming on so well. And hopefully, we can get an update when it's finished. Yeah. Perfect. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.